So over here, we have what looks like three ordinary OTS 21 booster packs. But what if I told you these three booster packs were all different and actually they're error packs? What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because two reasons. One, we're doing a pack opening and I love opening booster packs, but two, we're actually going to be opening up some OTS 21 booster packs, but these are actually error packs. Now it might look like they're not error packs. It might look like there's nothing wrong with them right now, but I promise when we get into it, you're going to see why they're going to be considered error packs. But if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content, just like this one. We upload five days a week here on the channel, but we do a full 10 videos per week, five long videos, five short videos. You guys are going to get a little bit of everything. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. And with that, let's get right into some pack opening. So right over here, like I mentioned previously, these look like three regular OTS 21 packs, but I'm going to explain why they're error packs in just a moment. First thing we're going to do, because I don't want this video to just be three packs and it's kind of over, we're going to be doing a little bit of a booster pack opening over here. Three Burst and Destiny, a Darkwing Blast, and two Lightning Overdrive. These are just some packs I had laying around, so I just decided I thought I'd open them. Why not give you guys a little bit of a video and then talk about the OTS packs, because I didn't want to just get right into them and then, you know, it's a three minute video of me just opening some error packs. I'm really excited because both has some pretty cool stuff it has a sword soul stuff of course i believe it's four to the front let's do a pack trick so the super rare would be in the back here we have a b trooper landing uh we have a penguin ninja so anyways while i open these cards let me talk to you guys first destiny has some cool cards like the sword soul stuff it has dpe which is not really nice as well in here and then i can't remember the starlight rares i didn't think we were going to get a starlight rare here's a super rare meows click um, nothing too crazy about that but there is potential for a lot of really cool cards from these sets i mean we all know darkwing blast is a really good set burst of destiny at its time was also a really cool set so uh, let's open this up right over here. We got Penguin Squire, Gunkin Ship. Oh, actually, let's do the pack trick. One, two, three, four. This way, at least if there's something good, it'll be in the back, right? Uh, we're still on Burst of Destiny here, so we still have hope. Uh, we have the Ultra Rares for Sword Soul as well, not just the Super Rares. Okay, we did pull an Ultra Rare. It's a B Trooper Light Flapper. I don't think this one is played in B Trooper. I might be wrong, though. I haven't seen B Trooper in some time, but you know what? We pulled an Ultra Rare. It's something. At least it's better than just the Super Rare that you're guaranteed, right? So I'm not too mad about that. And I know we're kind of flying through these packs. Uh, I'm just I'm just having fun opening these packs, to be honest with you. I, I don't open packs very often, and when I do, I have a very good time opening them. I have fun, right? So it's Transonic Bird over here, Feng Li. Anyways, as we open these, actually, let me talk to you guys. So these three OTS packs, who knows what's going to be in them? I just know that there's going to be something going on with them. Brandon and High Spirit as a super rare. But the reason I know something's going to be wrong with them is because we had a very similar error, if you guys didn't see, in the last error opening with OTS 20. Flashback find out with this one again like you guys can see like it's just so much space inside maybe i'm exaggerating maybe i think maybe it's just a weird packaging error but it's definitely an error so okay so this time i'm going to assume it's in the back okay i guess it is in the back all right so we got a sacred tree we have a grave wait wait what that was only two cards and a flashback and these packs essentially feel the same as the ots 20 packs so for that reason i was like yo if there was an error with OTS 20 and it was the exact same thing, then what if there's an error with OTS 21 as well, right? So we're going to we're gonna open it up and we're going to see what the error is or if there even is an error. And I'm going to explain why there is an error or why it is an error and when I get there, essentially. But let's open up some uh, Lightning Overdrive here. I meet you. Zexel Construction is our super rare. Okay, so not too crazy so far today. I mean, we have an ultra rare. Uh, let's leave Darkwing Blast for the end. I think Darkwing Blast just has the best pulls. I mean, you can pull super rare base seals, which is really good. But you can always also pull this stuff like the Koshtara, which is also really powerful. Um, yeah, so let's open Dabble Last. But here, let's go with Leov over here. We got Judge, Starmine, Bujin. We got a Sunvine Crossbreed, Yami Mori. We got a Spriggan's Brothers, Judgment of the Branded. Scrap Raptor, very good common when it came out. This card was insane. And then Tri Brigade Bear Bum, pretty good super rare, I would say. This is one of the better super rares from the set. Okay, so we're still not opening super well. What was our first super rare? Meow's click over here. Um, let's open up our Darkwing Blast and see if we have potential for an ultra rare, which all the ultra rares in here are pretty good. You get Fenrir, you get Unicorn. Secret rares are pretty good as well. And then of course, there might be the potential of a Starlight rare. So we got the Laughing Puffin, Prediction Princess, Tobari the Sky Ninja, Stars Align, Amazon War Chief, Koshiro Ogre, Ninjutsu Art, Tri Brigade Showdown, and we got a Black Feather Whirlwind as our final card right over here. Okay, so nothing too crazy from our packs, but uh, I, I enjoyed opening the packs regardless. The point is though, we are not here for these. We are here 
for what's about to come with these OTS 21 packs. Now you guys might be wondering still, what is wrong with these packs? They look like normal packs. Okay, so what if I told you that these three packs are three different sizes? Look at this, one, two, and three over here. So this is crazy. So this is a normal OTS 21 pack, okay? This one's normal, this one's not the error. These two are error packs. Because first of all, if you guys can see, there's like a lot of space between the cards and the plastic or the covering, I should say, actually. So like you guys can see here, like there's a lot of air, like space there. And then on top of that, the actual material of these feels super different than the material from this. So this is a generic, this is a regular OTS 21 pack. These two are air packs. And the crazy part is, it's not like it was just the same error. They're literally all three different sizes here. Let me line them up for you guys so you guys can tell. But you guys can see here, they're literally all three different sizes lined up, which is kind of crazy, right? And if you guys can tell as well, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera as well, but the coloring is also really off between the last two packs. So we're going to see what's in them. Let's open up a regular OTS 21 pack first though. So this is a normal one. This is not an error booster pack, but again, all three of these packs are different, right? So we have the trap hole of spikes, we have a sacred sword, and then we have a Tierlemans Hovinus as our super rare. Okay. So we've just pulled the super rare out of there. Nothing too crazy. Typical pack over here, right? Nothing too special, but let's get into these two air packs over here. Two completely different air packs. The last time we opened an air pack, we only had two cards in that pack. Let's find out if these air packs might have something similar where it's only two cards or if it's three or if it's more than three. In that last video, you guys told me that you've had packs with multiple super rares. You've had packs with four or five cards, which is kind of crazy. So we have contact with the Aquamere time space trap hole and we have a Tobari. Okay, now I'm going to be honest with you. These cards are the exact same. Okay, so there's no error with that. Uh, everything looks pretty normal. We got three cards from OTS 21 over here. Okay, nothing too crazy, but you know what? That's not bad. Let's find out. Maybe with this one, we get something different. It could just be a packaging error. To be honest with you, there are times where Konami does packaging errors, but you never know what could be inside because especially with these kind of error booster packs, there could be errors in the print run as well. So let's find out. So here we have a Sacred Swords of seven stars. We got a Network Trap Hole. So at least we know we don't have just two cards and we have another Tobar. Is this the same exact pack? Oh no, okay. It's not the same exact pack, but we got two Tobaris. All right. Well, actually that was pretty anticlimactic because I thought these were going to be more error but they weren't. They were just normal, typical booster packs, um, but with the same super rares, apparently. We just can't pull anything but Tabari the Sky Ninjas. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. I know we didn't pull the greatest. I know we didn't have the best pulls, but you know, it's good that, you know, this might just be a packaging error. It might not be a card error. And you know, if you guys are opening packs like these that feel different or are really big or are really weirdly packaged, then at least you know that it's not one of those situations where you're only going to be getting two cards and you're going to be missing out on some cards. It's just a packaging error. And I think that's a pretty good conclusion to me. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, it's Banco signing out. Peace.